Every useful program needs to store data at some point, and in Swift, there are two ways to do it, variables and constants. A variable is a data store that can have its value change whenever you want, and a constant is a data store that you set once and can never change. So, variables have values that can vary, and constants have values that are constant. Easy, right? Having both these options might seem pointless. After all, you could just create a variable, then never change it. Why does it need to be a constant? Well, it turns out that many programmers are, shock, less than perfect at programming, and we make mistakes. One of the advantages of separating constants and variables is that Xcode will tell us if we've made a mistake. If we say, make this date a constant, because I know it will never change, then 10 lines later try to change it, Xcode will refuse to build our app. Constants are also important because they let Xcode make decisions about the way it builds our app. If it knows value will never change, it's able to apply optimizations to make the code run faster. In Swift, you make a variable using the var keyword like this, var name equals Tim McGraw. Now, because it's a variable, you can change it whenever you want. But you shouldn't use the var keyword each time. That's only used when you're declaring new variables. For example, I could say var name equals Tim McGraw, then name equals Romeo. So the first line creates the name variable and gives it an initial value. Then a second line updates the name variable so its value is now Romeo. You'll see both values printed on the right here in the results area of the playground. Now, what if we made that constant rather than a variable? Well, constants use the let keyword rather than var. So we can change this variable here to say let name equals Tim McGraw, and Xcode is going to be unhappy. You're going to see warnings at the bottom of the screen telling you something's gone wrong, uh, cannot assign the value, name is a let constant. You'll also see red errors inside your code on the line that's problematic saying cannot assign to value, name is a let constant. This is Xcode speak for, you're trying to change a constant and you can't do that. So constants are a great way to make a promise to Swift and to yourself that a value won't change. Because if you do try to change it, Xcode will refuse to run. Swift developers have a strong preference for using constants wherever possible, because it makes your code easier to understand. In fact, Xcode will actually tell you if you make something a variable, then never change it. It will recommend you make it a constant instead. Now, as an important note here, variable and constant names must be unique in your code. You'll get an error if you try to use the same variable name twice. So if I have, say, uh, var name equals Tim McGraw, then var name equals Romeo, that's not allowed. So when the playground finds an error in your code, You'll either see the big warning appear in a red box, or it'll just refuse to run. And you'll not know the latter's happened because the text will appear in the results pane gray on the right of Xcode rather than its usual black. 